Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Twister, and today I'm coming back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I'm starting up a new series. This is called Grinding for Gold with the Scar H, a very underused weapon, so that's why I wanted to start up and um, starting up this series with this gun in particular. Now, as you saw at the start, I only had 37 kills with only 4 headshots, so it's pretty much safe to say that I barely used this weapon, and um, I managed to um, get up. A nice few headshots so obviously that's kind of the first step to getting the gold camo is to get those headshots I think it's 250 in total and um, I think I get a cheeky little warbang headshot right here and um, after that I go on a nice headshot spree so um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this series and if this series goes down nicely um, I might carry on with different guns after I've got the gold camo for this gun but as you will notice in this video I am just doing the highlights so putting up a load of clips together um, from two games and um, this is the first game it's a domination on studio it's, it's my first game on so it starts pretty slow but we do manage to get those headshots as you can see I've been going on a nice little headshot spree uh, within the past few clips so hopefully you guys will enjoy this I'm just trying to make it as entertaining as possible just trying to do something different and fresh rather than just the regular gameplay commentary that we all see time and time again which does get a bit repetitive and a little bit boring and Obviously, um, you guys will know I have I have been pretty inactive, but hopefully this series will get me active again. It's just something fresh, something new, and um, um, lately I haven't really had a clear direction in mind of where I want to take this channel because I've been playing FIFA a lot and not so much Call of Duty, but I still want to upload Call of Duty. But anyway, that is the first game finish. We get ourselves up to 71 kills and 11 headshots. We unlock the first two camos, DevGuru and Atax AU. So um, yeah, we. We uh, we get a not so good first game. It's it, like I said, it started off pretty slow. It was my first game of the day, but the second game things pick up a lot nicely. Get the first headshot there, and then a cheeky little tea bag because he was just trying to wait me out. And I get another headshot here. Um, on call. This map is the second game um, from the latest DLC Uprising map pack, and I really do enjoy this map. It's one of the better maps in the Uprising DLC. Um, don't particularly like Vertigo and Magma, but Studio and Encore, two of my favourite maps. Just re they flow really well and um, it, the Scar plays pretty decent on this map. Um, Scar isn't really that good of a gun although it is like a three hit kill at all ranges I think um, just the recoil makes it so hard um, for you to connect with all them three shots and, and right here don't even ask me why I'm using the care package. I rarely use the care package um, don't think I've used it prior to this but I think um, I think I was meant to put County UAV on, but for some by mistake, um, I put the care package on instead. And I tried to get a cheeky little headshot on the AFK guy, um, but unfortunately, get taken out. And um, also in this game, I tried to play the objective a lot. As you can see, like the B flag on this map is pretty hard to cap because uh, there's, there's so many directions of ways you can get into this kind of like middle middle stage area. People just kind of bombard the. Um, the flag and I get an awesome kill here the dolphin dive capture kill um, with the hit fire pretty nice and with the scar h the hit fire isn't really that good on this gun but and yeah like I said the scar h isn't the best gun in the world there's the recoil it's it's so damn hard to hit your shots it's um it's ridiculous like the recoil is just so bad it bounces up and around it doesn't have a specific recoil pan it bounces left and right and up and down it's um it's pretty hard to get the kills but then again the, um, the recoil pan on this gun does have its advantages in getting those headshots so if you start um, aiming at the chest and fire the recoil will pretty much just take it up to the head and as you can see I do manage to get quite a few headshots in this game also so that's pretty nice um I do tend to kind of like knife the air just to kind of like express my joy of getting the headshots um I get a few headshots with the capture kills there I do just knife the air um get a few capture kill headshots and I think I finish up with another headshot right here so um did pretty well in this game and I don't even know what that guy was doing that was another lucky headshot he was just standing there and then I managed to hip fire him but let me know um, kind of what game mode you want to see in this um, in this series. I'm pretty much open to requests. Obviously, I will be using the Scar H, but if you want to um, give me some kill streak soaps to use, some perks, some equipment, um, some class soaps and attachments, then um, I will try and get those out for you just to make this um, series a lot more entertaining and a lot more enjoyable and to get you guys involved with the series. But anyway, um, the game is pretty much finishing up here. We do manage to get a really, really nice comeback. Um, as you can see, we're down by two points. 
but we do have the two flags so we just um we're just crawling back with the points and um i think i finish up here with i think i might get one extra headshot yes headshot right there oh no i got t i got taken up but we do finish with 44 um kills and we get up to 115 kills and 22 headshots so hopefully you guys did enjoy this series and um, the first episode of this series um hopefully i can get these out on a lot more regularly so yeah um be sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more see you all in the next video